Are you looking for true personal freedom? The freedom to design the life you truly desire? Then you're absolutely in the right place. True personal freedom comes from when you take 100% responsibility and control of your money and your mind. Here, you're going to learn ideas, tips, and wisdom that's going to help you bridge the gap from where you are now to your dream life in the future. My name is Randy Wilson, and welcome to the Rich Mind Podcast. Hello, and welcome back to the Rich Mind Podcast. Today, I want to talk about tools uh, to achieve any type of goal that you've got in your life, uh, whether it's financial, whether it's a business goal, whether it's a relationship goal. A lot of times you're going to need tools. You need tools to use uh, it in order to help you achieve uh, what you're looking for. And today, the tool that I want to talk about, I want to talk about leverage. I know sometimes that we are taught uh, that leverage is bad. So let's talk about some forms of leverage in terms of the business world, in terms of financial uh, goals. If you want to achieve a level of wealth, if you want to become quote unquote rich, uh, you're going to need to uh, have the ability and to fill your toolbox with some different forms of leverage. So let's talk about the most obvious piece, and that is usually debt. Debt is a bad four-letter word in some folks' vocabulary. But debt is nothing more than a tool. If you use the debt wisely, it can be used in a fantastic way. If you use it to purchase assets, and remember, we've had the discussion that an asset puts money into your pocket, versus buying liabilities or just things. If you're out just buying TVs or just things that you don't necessarily need, but liabilities, liabilities take money from your pocket. Okay, so starting with that simple premise, if you use debt as a tool to continue to buy assets, especially appreciating in value assets that produce cash flow, you will continuously add to your wealth line so that can be in the form of single family properties that can be in the form of multifamily properties the process is similar it's the amount of leverage and skill set and team and all of the things required to be successful but the tool itself the debt is what can be used So I would encourage you to to try to think about debt differently. I know there's folks out there that claim that all debt is bad and you you should not have debt. But if you're in the process of trying to build a business and if you're in in looking to to acquire real estate, real estate is a business and you need to to make sure that you're thinking of it in that way. But if you're working, looking towards building a business of any kind, more times than not, you're going to need to have debt at first to get the processes in place, get the systems in place, whether it's even for inventory, uh, staff, uh, software, there's all different kinds of things that need to be put in place. And sometimes you're going to need to use the tool of debt or other people's money, okay? OPM, other people's money, which would be debt. Okay, then let's move on to another piece of leverage is OPT. And I like to use that as saying other people's time. So you can shortcut different things by acquiring knowledge. Hopefully you will be doing that here on the Rich Mind Podcast. I hope to give you knowledge that you can then take and shortcut your way through some of the discovery phase, let's call it. But you can also do it in terms of through hiring folks. So you can use other people's time to pay them you're going to pay them a fee but that in return will free up your time to do the things that you need to do to generate more capital or to operate your businesses better that will then spin off and just create more abundance for you your ability to acquire more assets build bigger teams build bigger bigger everything bigger more and that's the beauty of it as you continue to get better build your skill set 
stack some of these uh, these leverage points, you can then continue to move forward and move faster. And last but not least, let's talk about OPS. Now, this is something that I actually, I love this part. So other people's systems is what I like to call it. So once again, you don't need to create, recreate the wheel when in terms of business, in terms of uh, even if real estate your business, great. There are people that are very skilled at operating a real estate business. If you're wanting to do that, get in the rooms with those people and learn from them. You will probably require to put some money as an investment to get into the rooms with those people. That'll be a small trade for what you will going what you're going to be getting back as far as processes and systems and your ability to move faster will be exponential if you start utilizing other people's systems. One way as an example for myself, and this is outside of the real estate world, is is my business that I've had in the past, which was Amazon. Amazon e-commerce. So I don't need to go out and figure out how to set up a shopping cart and all the distribution channels and how to get it to the uh, customer at the end of the day. I don't need to collect payment. I don't, all of the things that you can imagine in terms of what it would take to create an e-commerce business, I don't need to go do because Amazon has already had, already has it all figured out. All I need to do is take some basic knowledge of finding the right products that the people are looking for that I can source at a profitable price, attach that product to the Amazon process, and all of a sudden I'm making sales, keeping it as simple as you could possibly do it. So once again, let's recap. Let's talk about if you're going to achieve any level of success, you're going to have to add tools to your toolbox. And today we talked about leverage. We need to start leveraging other people's money through debt. We need to start leveraging other people's time through either hiring folks for coaching or you can hire your own employees. You need to leverage other people's time to free you up to do more of the profitable uh, parts of whatever business that you're actually in. And then we talked about other people's systems. I used the example there of Amazon. Amazon has it figured out. They know exactly how to. It's just a matter of, of finding a profitable way to get products in front of their customers and then let them take care of it. I don't need to be the one figuring all that out. So hopefully that serves you today. Just start thinking about leverage in a different way. Debt is not bad. Debt is not, it depends on what you use it for. You need to be thinking about it, using it to acquire assets or building assets. And if you do that on a consistent basis, along with these other, other tools that we discussed today, your life will begin to change and it will be changed. It'll begin to change rapidly because you're going to start being able to get ahead in life versus continuing to fall behind based on the way the financial system is set up. So once again, I hope that serves you today. Uh, if you know of someone that could uh, use this message uh, and everything else that we're talking about here on the podcast, I'd really appreciate it if you take a minute and share it with them. And I look forward to coming back and sharing more ideas and things with you in the next episode. So until then, have a fantastic day. Go out there, add some tools to your toolbox, get some ideas of how you can use leverage to your advantage, and make it a great day, everybody. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you for joining me on the Rich Mind Podcast. I hope you found a ton of value in this episode. If so, I'd really appreciate a five-star review, and you can also share it with your family and friends. And as my mentor Jim Roden shared with me, in order to have more, you must first become more. And in order to become more, you must work harder on yourself than you do on your job. So go out there today and work harder on yourself and become more and build the life of your dreams. Until next time, my friends.